Hey, what's going on everyone? It's your boy Alter Tech back again with another video and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. So today I want to talk about the last Nexus 6P. Now this is going to be a series I'll be conducting. This is episode one and today's episode we'll be talking about using a Nexus 6P to start off 2019 on Google Fi. Now in this episode I'll be talking about the performance. I'll be talking about the hardware comparisons from a 2015 device, the Nexus 6P with 2019 devices or 2018 devices. I'll also go over the call quality, I'll go over the battery life, I'll go over the security patches, the camera performances, and of course, I'll give you guys some tips and my final thoughts at the end. So first off, the performance. Now initially, when I first booted it on, it, I noticed it was very laggy. I really didn't have much apps installed on this device and it really didn't make much sense. So I did what everyone else probably would have done and that was do a full factory reset. And once I was able to do this, I did notice that the performance was much smoother. So what have I done since then? I've installed Nova Launcher. Now the stock launcher is the Google Launcher and I pretty much didn't like it. Pretty much because there's no Google Home feed for some reason. I'm not sure if something just got deleted or something. But once I boot up this phone and I swipe to the left, there is no Google Home feed for some reason. And I did notice the animations were pretty slow and it was pretty much boring there's no special animation it really isn't much benefits of having the stock google launcher now with nova you know you guys should know about nova by now there's full customizations and it's pretty much faster so now let's go over the hardware of the nexus 6p now the nexus 6p is a 2015 device and what i do like about this device compared to the 2018 or 2019 models i'm seeing is that the speakers are dual and it does have a headphone jack now if you want to jump into 2019 you will notice that much of these mid-range phones do have better wi-fi technology better bluetooth technology and you will notice that many of these newer chips do have better battery performances and you will definitely notice that the cpus and gpus from 2019 will give you better gaming experiences you'll notice that scrolling is much more smoother on these devices and you'll also notice that some of these devices do have faster load times and faster installations now as for the call quality, for me it's between good and okay. And I will say this, the phone gets pretty loud and the quality is okay. Now it's not going to impress you and it's not going to disappoint you as well. Now here's some notes. Now the phone is huge, so I would actually recommend that you use a Bluetooth or regular headphones or use a speakerphone when making phone calls. Now since this phone is pretty huge, holding it against your ears for long periods of time can cause some discomfort. Well that's just based on my experience. Now as for Project Fi, the good. Now you do get nice coverages, you do have nice speeds, and I haven't noticed any dropped phone calls, which is pretty good. Now the bad, this does use the Sprint network, so I usually have about 3 bars at home, but it all depends where you live and which towers are closely located near where you are, as with any other carrier. Now let's go ahead and talk about the battery life. Now with the battery life, I could get usually around between 2 and 4 hours of screen on time, usually under 3 hours with you know heavy usage or about three and a half on light usage days. Now many of you guys know battery life hasn't been the greatest on this device unless maybe you've been lucky enough to get a good battery on yours or maybe you've been able to replace your battery on your device. Now as for the security patches, as of January 10th of 2019, the last update was the December patch of 2018. Now this was guaranteed to get about three years of security updates so the last update should have been on November but they actually extended it to December of 2018. So as of today, I haven't received any patches for the month of January. So does this mean that this is the end or is Google going to, you know, slip out a, another surprise security patch update? Now, as for the camera, now this is some good news. Now it does have great HDR, which I did notice was better than some of the 2018 flagship devices. You can get camera NX and get the portrait mode from the Google Pixel devices, which looks pretty damn good. And finally, you can also install Gcam which also gives you the ability to use night sight. Now here's the thing, it does work, but you're not able to see what you're taking a photo of. So let's say I turn the camera on, I'm facing uh, you know, like a tree or something, the screen's gonna be blank, and you're just gonna have to press the shutter button and hope that everything is in focus. But it does come out pretty good, I will give you guys some sample shots. And finally, my final thoughts. Now there's not going to be any more updates or we don't know and if there aren't any more updates I'd say it's time for me to go ahead and start rooting my Nexus 6P device. Now I usually root when it's like a last resort or usually when a manufacturer drops support for a device. Now I am fearful of the boot loop of death 
and the bad battery quality you know maybe the battery could probably you know just pretty much crap out at any minute or i could probably just get the boot loop of death at any minute and there has been thousands of reports of users actually dealing with these same issues so right now i am kind of careful about how i use this phone but other than that I have to say it works pretty well and it still looks beautiful for a phone from 2015 uh, this phone to me looks gorgeous you do have that silver finish this visor in the back a nice fingerprint reader feels like a tablet other than that you do have your dual speakers and it does look pretty damn good so with all this said i would recommend using this as a backup phone it's an excellent backup phone it's unlocked so meaning you can use it with t-mobile sprint and at&t i have yet to use it on verizon but i've used it you know pretty successfully on these three carriers now as for the camera when it comes to photography it does a better job than many 2018 mid-range phones so if you're interested in buying a mid-range device and you want a better camera so i would say that the nexus 6p is a good alternative and finally tips i would recommend that you guys stick with the original charger i've been using some other chargers like with the lg g6 and i've noticed that you know charging speeds have been pretty low and feels a little kind of weird since i've been using it and i'm going to also avoid gaming on this device because i don't want to stress the processor and the internals because this phone is prone to overheating and as you know heat and electronics doesn't really make a good combination you do you know reduce the lifespan of your devices when you do expose them to high temperatures and finally i would avoid heavy widgets live wallpapers and heavy apps i'm not going to give it too much you know tasks or try to run it down too hard my goal and my objective is to you know try to keep this phone running as long as possible now i am a huge nexus fan and it's kind of sad that you know the nexus 6p was the last device introduced by the nexus line but it is what it is now i hope you guys and girls found this video helpful if you have any questions or comments please let me know down in the comment section below this is alter tech signing out i hope you guys have a great and wonderful day peace